Hi, and welcome to tip 11 of my SEA series. As promised, the next few videos will be based on bar modeling as an effective problem solving strategy. I am therefore imploring all teachers to practice this strategy in your class because this can be a real game changer in the mathematics attainment level at the secondary entrance assessment and beyond. Let's get straight into it. Suppose you were required to solve this problem. Pause the video and try resolving the problem on your own. After you have attempted it, you can unpause the video and look at the solution. Here is the solution. Suppose this bar represented the whole, that is, the total number of magazines Mr. Wallace had at the beginning of the day. They went on to say that 63 magazines were sold in the morning. This can be represented by this bar. Further information provided was the number of magazines sold later on in the day. This was known to be three fifths. This means that the remaining portion must be divided into five equal subdivisions like this. So that here is your three fifths. Additional information was given about the remaining portion. They said it was equivalent to a quarter of the number at the beginning. This means that the two bars is equal to a quarter of the original amount. This further implies that one of the bar represents one eighth of the original amount. And by implication, this means that the original amount is represented by a bar of eight equal subdivisions. Our aim here is to obtain a fraction that represents the 63 magazines because this information can enable us to find the whole. This, therefore, is 5 eighths of the whole. Remember, each of the small red bar represents 1 eighth. This implies that 3 eighths of the magazines are represented as 63 magazines. So if 3 eighths of the whole is equal to 63 magazines, then this implies that the whole is a third of 63. And when you do the cancellation, this will be equivalent to 168 magazines. This is the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.